On this outdoor adventure, we decided to drive up to Evergreen, Colorado and visit Beaver Brook Watershed. It is considered a beginner's open space trail and expands over 5.7 miles. The loop begins on top of a hill and follows switchbacks down to a valley that has been turned into a reservoir. It was really a beautiful day and the perfect opportunity for my dog to run around, bounding through open fields and taking an illegal dip in the lake. She even found a loose tennis ball from a previous dog. She carried it around as though she had found the greatest treasure in the world. As we crested the top of the hill, we could see down into the valley with the clouds reflecting off the water and small fish bobbing to the surface and creating ripples. Several small creeks fed into the reservoir, making running water an ambient backdrop to the beautiful scenery. This hike was pretty tough. As we were climbing out of the valley, I kept having to stop and catch my breath. It was embarrassing because I felt as though I was the only one who was struggling with the incline. The more I had to stop, the more embarrassed I felt until finally, I started crying. Not only was this a hit to my self-esteem, but it was a big dose of reality as to how out of shape I really was. I had dreamed big and filled my ego with ideas that this was a beginner's trail and shouldn't be a problem. I wasn't meeting my expectations of how quickly I could climb. I felt the eyes of my friends like lasers every time I had to stop, which was quite often. My head throbbed with blood, my skin was sunburnt, my legs were wobbly, and here I was sitting on the ground like a baby. What was supposed to be a Sunday stroll through a forest trail ended up bringing a lot of fears to the forefront of my psyche. All around me, I was surrounded by the best inspiration and motivation Mother Nature could offer. Yet here I was, a victim to my own thoughts. I felt stupid. And this realization only brought more hot embarrassment to my already watering eyes. My husband sat next to me and did the best he could to support me, but this was an internal disappointment and I couldn't help but tear myself down. Of course, I was eventually able to climb out of the valley, but climbing out of my once suppressed fears will be a much more difficult task. The trail was six miles with a 1,000 foot incline. I'm very grateful to live near these mountains. I'm nowhere near my goals, but it's a start. Next time, I'll try not to be a selfish prick. I'll pull myself out of my thoughts and appreciate what a beautiful world I get to live in. Till next week, this is your crying crafty cultist. Bye.